Okay, so this video is part of a series. We've been working with an Android phone and we've been flashing it and um, doing a whole bunch of stuff with it. And I just want to tell you, don't be afraid to play with your devices. Now, a lot of you, you know, if you've worked at all with computers, you probably know that you really don't have to be afraid. As long as you have your personal data backed up on a desktop computer, you could do almost whatever you want with software and not worry about, you know, making the machine unusable because, you know, you mess up your old system, you can boot Linux off a flash drive in under two minutes and have it installed in under, under 10. So it's not really scary to play around. That's how you learn by playing around. With a phone or a tablet, it can be a little scarier. It's like, if I mess this up, how do I fix it? Why is it scarier? How, why is this different than that? And the answer is, big companies, uh, they lock the bootloader. So when you buy a phone or a tablet, usually the bootloader is locked. Some companies, like Motorola, make it real easy to unlock the bootloader. You void your warranty, but once the bootloader is unlocked, it's just like a desktop computer. You can boot multiple things on there. You can boot to RAM and other operating systems. You can install custom mods. And as long as you don't mess up your boot partition, it's very simple to, to fix any problem software-wise that you have on your phone. So, if you can get to the bootloader screen with an unlocked bootloader, you can always boot a custom recovery. If you can boot a custom recovery, you can fix your operating system, install a custom ROM. As long as you have those ROM files, either get them from a website or when you get the phone, the first thing you do when you unlock the bootloader is make a backup of the entire system and save those files. There, no matter what happens, as long as you can get to that bootloader screen, which to not have that boot mean that you went and messed up that partition and I don't know what you would do in that case but as long as you don't mess up the boot partition uh, you can always uh, reflash the backups you have or put in custom stuff so basically my point here is don't be afraid uh, to to mess with these devices if you have a big expensive you know eight nine hundred dollar phone thousand dollar phones is what they're getting to now um, Obviously, that's a little scarier. Get started by yourself. You can get an Android phone for $50 or $100. It doesn't have to be the fastest thing. And in fact, this one, like I said, was $100. Bucks. It, it seems like a pretty nice phone. It's just as nice as uh, my phone. And uh, you can play with it and learn a whole bunch of stuff. And I really recommend you do. So this video is just to tell you to, to don't be afraid. You learn from playing around. If you are a computer person, you know that you learned by getting on the computer and clicking on stuff till you figure out how to do something. Don't be afraid to do that on your phone. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.